What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm actually on my way to go and meet Rita, my wife, going on 19 years. Yep, 18th anniversary was Sunday, and she texted me, and I was in a crib taking care of some business, and I had just got off of a meeting, and because she can see my calendar, she said, Anton, would you like to meet me at the Dairy Queen? And I said, oh, me, Anton, working hard in the gym, trying to get my summertime fine body together. You want moi to meet you at the Dairy Queen? She says, absolutely. I said, okay, no worries. I'm willing to put my diet on hold in order to make sure that I meet you at the Dairy Queen for a date, All right? Couple days after our 18th wedding anniversary. Why not? It's not what I wanna to talk to you guys about today. I wanna to talk to you today about the posturing that we see happening and our legislative branches, mainly from our president. Shout out to Biden. Thank you for letting me in, I appreciate you. Looks like everybody is out and about having a good time today, even though it's only a Wednesday. Shout out to my Wednesdayers. Hump day, Thursday coming. Some of y'all getting paid tomorrow, what up though? But there's a lot of posturing going on with our federal government. Let me tell you what the new, the new I wanna look good in front of you guys, symbolic gesture that's not actually going to do or generate any results whatsoever. So our current president is now proposing, wasting time, proposing a gas tax holiday. A gas tax holiday. Now, what does that mean? It basically means that he wants to suspend the amount that the federal government is making by taxing, taxing oil profits, basically, so that they can lower the amount that you're spending at the pump. Now, let me tell you what's wrong with this whole strategy. A, it does not then pass on the savings to the consumers. Just because they're not taxing the oil companies, that does not mean that the oil companies are then going to pass the tax over into the consumers. It's a symbolic gesture, right? B, it's not even enough to make a difference. You're talking about cents, right? Between, I read somewhere between 18 and like 25 cents per gallon. When you got five to seven to almost eight dollars uh, in some places per gallon, what do you think that that's really going to do? Real talk. I mean, let's, seriously, seriously. We're talking about a government or a government body or a president that's proposing and begging big oil companies begging big oil companies knowing that big oil companies were taking losses over the last couple of years because of the pandemic and have to continuously invest in and make sure that they are putting billions and tens of billions of dollars every single year into infrastructure and plans and reinvestment and then they try to figure out a strategy with all of this electrification and the build back better plan which did not include the oil companies at all so it wasn't a uh handshake deal with them but it was largely something that was saying that f y'all suck it and then we gonna do this but then at the same time they know that biden's approval rating is plummeting and people are going to be switching over to red and you decided to vote for him and you don't want to admit that you did try to vote for him and so as a result as a result they're having this symbolic gesture that they know was not going to go through any legislative branch it's not going to pass in any legislative branch and nobody is even going to draw up this bill. Hopefully they don't waste their time and waste our time and waste the government's time even advertising this. But it's amazing because the first thing that I pulled up as soon as I opened up any kind of financial news was this BS. This shouldn't even be financial news. This is nothing at all. So A, the big oil companies are not responsible for passing the savings over to consumers. B, if they did, the savings wouldn't even be significant enough to mean anything. But C, he's then saying that families just need a little bit more help to hold them over. His landmark deal, the Build Back Better plan, the infrastructure deal, all of this other type of stuff, we ain't heard nothing from it. A. B, a lot of what he's using to pay for it, right, which we're hearing... And, and again, listen, 
This landmark deal, this symbolic gesture is only supposed to last for like a limited amount of time, like a couple months or something like that. Now, one thing that we don't know is how long this will last and then who would have to pay for this because then they're depending on the gas tax in order to be able to fund other initiatives that they're proposing to you so you can run in the Victim Olympics. See, it's all a trickle down effect that a lot of people are really not paying attention to and they don't understand business and you got inflation and listen, listen. The way that you truly affect what goes on from a financial perspective is good policy, partnering with business, and then ensuring that you are having a great balance between uh, inflation rates, all that other type of stuff, uh, employment numbers. I did a video with y'all yesterday and I explained to y'all that the real solution that's being proposed by uh, former administrators, is now that they're no longer a part of certain administrations, they're saying, yo, we just basically got to lose 10 million jobs. We got to make sure that unemployment. <laughs> All the way around, no matter what solution is proposed or sold to you, everything comes back to you being the one that suffer as a result of it. I'm telling you. The people that have, we got a little bit more leeway and we have an understanding of money and we know how money works, so we able to pivot more effectively to where it doesn't actually hurt us, it actually benefits us. So when you see, they say, key terms like tax, federal gas tax holiday and student loan, uh, putting that all for the Build Back Better plan or tax the rich, eat the rich, give more money to the poor, translation in your mind at this point now that you have more understanding and you've been rocking with me on the millionaire morning show should be oh snaps they actually about to either help me lose my job they're going to sacrifice some more workers and my ability to feed my family by not actually introducing introducing a uh, smart fiscal policy that benefits us or i'm going to be the one at the end that pays that tax because ultimately what it came back down to as all of these costs got passed back on to middle class families, families and consumers, and you are worse off from a financial perspective than you've ever been prior to him taking office. This is facts. This is not me telling you what I think, right? The ones that leveled up and that's a part of the Patreon. Listen, if you're not a part of the Patreon, honestly, honestly, make sure you tap into the link that's in the description so that you can truly truly align yourself with a group of people that really got your back because i'm gonna just tell you if it was me if i was able to take over this world i'm putting all of my patreon members and the people that i'm personally grooming and training into all of these legislative seats so we can actually really do something to help you and fix the economy it's gonna be painful at first but you're suffering and you you experiencing the pain anyway so what difference do it make you might as well do it my way the same thing that trump told y'all listen black people white people Whoever, your schools and your economy and your 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 neighborhoods and your legislative, everything that you got going on is already messed up. It's been messed up for an extended period of time. You might as well try it my way. That way, you can get you a Benz like I got me a Benz and then I go and pick up my Porsche tomorrow and then we both can be riding out good because they didn't stop making them when they made mine. So make sure you join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Make sure you stay, stay tapped in because you need to subscribe to the channel. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. Turn on your notification bell. And if you really need to tap in with me personally, holler at me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. Send me a message so that I can get you scheduled and we're going to get you tapped in, all right? We're going to fix this. Oh, that's a prowler. I ain't seen one of them in a long time. Price of prowler. Y'all remember that? Anyways, I love you. I appreciate you. I am about to turn in over here, right up here, so I can meet Rita at the Dairy Queen get my calories up so that I have to train harder when I go down to the gymnast this evening and we're going to get it popping. Make sure you tuned in tonight on my other channel. I'm going to be live streaming, getting it popping and subscribe to Fight Club. That link is in the description also. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for continuing to rock with me. Uh, focus. Listen, money is its own language and you don't have to suffer as a result of the bad economic policies that's coming from your legislative branches. Let me show you Rita. Hey, Rita. Look at Rita. And her Tesla. We're talking about, can you meet me at the Dairy Queen? Yes, I'm here. Look at her. Oh, Anton, come on over here. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.